Hello, Traveler. My name is Jordan Fluff, and I haven't posted anything in a while. Oops. My bad. But trust me, this is a long-awaited video. Uh, as soon as I posted my other Pocktab necklace video, people have been asking me to try to come up with a way to do it with monster tabs. And I've been spending the past five months procrastinating and then maybe a week of it trying to actually figure out how to do it. And guess what? I didn't do it, but I still have a different one instead. This one you still can't use monster tabs. Although technically speaking, you could use one. Which is a whole one more that you couldn't use in the other one, so I guess that's fine. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a choker, a more choker one. Um, this is also good for bracelets too, just like the other one. I, it, I, this is unscripted. I had no clue what I was doing, um, jumping into this, but for this, you need your basic two-hole pop tab, of course, classic. And you're gonna need some kind of elastic. I like using this clear bead and stretch by Go Create. It's very nice. It's not very good for this video because it'll be hard to see, but you know what? You're just gonna have to deal with that. I because I'm I can't go out and get more. Not in these hard times, no, sir. So after you have your elastic cut to what you believe to be an appropriate length, um, put, you're going to want to put um, the string through either side of the thing through the back. So I'm going to back face up and you put each side through. Pull that. So you should the top layer should be, you should see two, the back layer should be one across. Now, now you want to take this, lay it down here. put it through this double. So when I overlap it like this, what I mean by double is I mean where the holes overlap. So put it through the double. Beautiful. Do that on both sides. Everything is symmetrical except for the last step. It's very important. Everything is pretty much symmetrical and everything follows the pattern as you go down of thin, thick, thin, thick on each side. Thick, thin, thick, thin. Now, you just take this, grab yourself another, And you come through the double, the new double, instead of the old double. So you go through, I can't see what I'm doing. You go through the new double. You basically just gonna want to repeat this pattern until you get the desired length. I'll be right back. I'll show you how to add on to this and I'll show you how to uh, add a clasp thing. Okay, so once you have your thing about a desired length, uh, you're gonna want to 
go to the last thing, just like you're about to add a pop tab, and you're gonna tie it off twice. It's very important you do it two times, especially if you have uh, the same elastic that I'm using because it's particularly slippy and you don't want it to be slipping. Then you can go ahead and cut that off. Beautiful. Okay, so now is the time where you could use a monster tab because really you only need one of the holes. But you're gonna take a tab. What you're gonna do is on the thin end, you're gonna cut. You can do this with a wire cutter, uh, particularly sharp pair of scissors, or like nail cutters. Exacto knives, maybe. I don't know. I've never tried using an exacto knife for this. But really, all you have to do, um, all I did is pop it on one end like that, and then when you're putting it on, you just push it through. Really, it's not a complicated thing, but it is probably the most effective way. I just prefer it this way than getting an actual clip. I think it looks a lot better, even though it is a little wonky. And uh, you can see here I actually messed up and I put uh, two of the same, which is technically fine, but you can see it creates like a slant downward, so it would be a little wonky, but that's fine. There's not really too big of an issue with that. Real quick, before I let you go, I need to explain to you, if you cut your elastic too short, uh, you tie it off like you're about to end the thing completely. And then you just start like you're starting a completely new one. Just loop it through and you can start like you're starting a new one except it's connected to the rest of the thing. You don't have to try to tie two pieces of old elastic together to connect them to the old elastic or any of that. You just tie it off like you were doing it normally. Um, if you find that it's not staying, you can tie knots like around the thing you can't see it but tie knots like you're ending it and then just continue on without changing out elastics or anything just keeping the same one going it definitely helps it be a little bit more sturdy um if you find that it hurts like this choker i found it was very like itchy um so i put a strip of felt on the back you can attach that however you prefer, but that really helps if it's really itchy. But yeah, that's really it. There's nothing else I would... Uh, if you have any questions, put them out in the comments. If you have any suggestions, um, definitely tell me about it. Um, if you want to see other projects with pop tabs, obviously. I have a lot of them, and they're all over the floor now because I dropped them, but I have a lot of them. If you would like to suggest that, go ahead. Um, sorry for not uploading for a long time. Oopsie. Oops. Forgive me. <laughs> Alright, bye.